Hi folks, this is an update on the animatronic interactive socks robotic cat that's being produced by Mattel and is coming out for this Christmas. So I made a video about a month ago on new animatronic toys coming out for Christmas and at that time there was very little information about this cat so I've been looking regularly to try and find some information and today I found that it was available for pre-order on Amazon.com and there's lots of information in the description on there and lots of photographs. So I'm going to share these with you folks. So if you're an enthusiast like myself and you love animatronic robotic toys and models, this may be of interest to you. Or if you're a parent looking at something to buy for Christmas, you might also find this useful. I'll put a link in the description below to the Amazon listing. And if you do decide to pre-order this cat, I would be much obliged if you use this link as it helps the channel. So, as you can see there, it's available for pre-order from Amazon, but it's not actually going to be released until the 31st of October. And the price is $79.99. So, let's look at the packaging, the cat and the packaging first. So, the first thing that struck me was that unlike the other two socks cats that Mattel has brought out this one looks like hard plastic rather than plush and then the next thing that was a surprise for me was that it says 100 plus sound and motion combinations so the two plush socks cats that Mattel brought out, all he did was move their mouth and say 20 phrases when you pressed a button in the foot. So I was expecting a little bit more movement and more sounds, but 100 plus, I wasn't expecting that. And then we can see from the inserted pictures that Socks closes his eyes and he can turn his head and it looks like he's turning his head to um, the side of his face that's stroked. But what really took me by surprise is the other close-up picture that shows Socks walking. I never expected that. And then if we look at the top of the box we can see these tags. Now, I haven't seen the Lightyear film yet, but I have seen clips with socks in. So I know that he has these, I don't even know what they're probably called, tags that go in the end of his tail um, to perform functions. But as I've not watched the whole film yet, um. I don't know what the proper name is or anything like that. But anyway, you get them, you get six of them and they plug into the end of his tail. And there's a photo here showing it being clipped onto the end of the, his tail. And it also shows the height of socks. He's 7.99 inches high or 20.3 centimetres. So, next let's have a look at the description that Amazon gives of this cat. At 8.8 .8 inches long and 8 inches tall, with movie accurate detail, 
He's just the right size to play with at home and take along on every cadet training expedition. This electronic cat walks, moves his head and eyes and makes sounds in reaction to the touch sensors all over his body. More than a hundred sound and motion combinations. Socks has a USB connector hidden in his tail to read data cards. Ah, there you are, the data cards. Use the star command carabiner clip of six data chips to plug in and discover fun and space ranger adventures. Socks even makes white noise just like in the movie. Using the different data chips, Socks can quickly compute the likelihood of success on the next endeavour, answer space exploration trivia, help cadets train for the hostile Tikani Prime planet or unlock a secret message from Buzz. So, Paul, what do you think of this new animatronic that Mattel has brought out? It's a nice looking model, isn't it? It looks like it uh, does a lot. Uh, there's a, the walking's a surprise. I wonder how well it can walk. Not like an eyebow, I don't suppose. <laughs> uh, I, I, it's a pity it's not a bit plushy. I, I noticed a picture on the box, it had like a plushy surface, but obviously in reality it's still just plastic, isn't it? Yeah, because uh, um, as I said earlier, Mattel has already brought out two plush mm. socks mm. and uh, all they move is the mouth. Right. And I, they just say 20 phrases. So yeah. this is obviously... As you said, it's got a lot of phrases on this. This is 100, 100 plus. But the... uh, oh, no, it, when it says 100 mm -hmm. um, interactions and phrases, it, that's everything. Right, yeah. okay, yeah. But that still seems like a lot. It does, cause, uh, and so some of those interactions and movements and f and socks talking or making yeah, sounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or combinations of those. Combinations, That's yeah. That's nice. I, I like it, yeah. Mm. I, I like the thing on the end of the tail. I mean, it's <laughs> obviously, as it says, it's movie accurate, but it's a nice touch to include it on the model and those cars that you can plug in. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, we, we want to watch the film, but we don't want to go to the cinema to see it, do we? No, no. We're a bit concerned about COVID, folks. That's why we don't think it's like really a good idea to sit. But in a, we, we're gonna we, we're, we're gonna watch it somehow, aren't we? All these people watch it at home maybe. for two hours. Yeah. Um. So hopefully it'll be available mm. to buy in some sort of online. I'd like format. to watch the movie before before getting socks. The cat. Well, the cat's not coming out until the thirty first. Oh, of so it's plenty October. of time to watch the movie. You can pre-order it now if you wish. Okay, yeah. But it's not actually being released until the 31st of October. What's SOC stand for? S-O-X? Is that short for like Socrates? Because it's clever or something like that. Maybe. I've not looked that one up, Paul. Um, but from the little clips I've seen of the movie, it certainly looks like him. It looks like an amusing character, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, it doesn't say that the mouth opens, but it looks to me like it, it probably does. But it doesn't say that, does it? No. So maybe it doesn't. Which would be a pity, because the other two that they made Yeah, did. well, they can't, you know, they've got the legs moving, they've got the tail moving by the looks of it. Um, you know, and no, the I don't eyes think the tail moves. Does it not? Oh, I notice there's a lot of joints in the, lots of joints in the tails. So maybe you can just pose it, can you? Maybe, yeah. Mm. And the eyes open and close. Yeah. Yeah. Which I was expecting anyway, yeah, the yeah. eyes open and close. Yeah. So I suppose because it's a robot cat, uh -huh. you know, the character is a robot cat. Yeah. I suppose he felt they had to make it walk. Maybe, yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm looking forward to see how well it does walk. I suppose it just takes a few steps while it's saying something, does it? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know because, I mean, this is the first time I've even seen it. Photograph mm, of it. Mm. Not quite excited so, to get my hands on it. Yeah, me too. Mm. It, Mattel do tend to make nice animatronics. Yeah, I mean, they made some good things in the past, haven't they? Yeah. Good they, quality. Yeah. Mm, good quality uh, manufacture. Design. Yeah. I mean, they made um, that uh, Baby Yoda, what's mm -hmm. the proper name, Grogu. Uh, yeah. The child. Is that the one that moves around? Moves around, yeah. Yeah, that was that... good, that. And it did work quite well. Didn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah and it had a lot of functionality. Good. Yeah, yeah. That was Mattel. 
Okay, so folks, that's it for socks. And I'd just like to finish off this video with an update on The Real Friends Cinnamon. It's become available at Amazon UK for £84 and is in stock now. So I've ordered The Real Friends Cinnamon and it should arrive this Thursday, 30th of June. So, as soon as that arrives, folks, I will do an unboxing for you and we'll see what it's like. But that's it for this video, folks. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching, as always, and see you next time.